Now, church, in God's providence, sometimes he chooses leaders to take us to a certain point. And then he selects someone else to pick up the torch and carry it the rest of the way. Pastor Marlon Reed has been selected by God to take the torch and lead Stratford from this point on. I believe that God has his hand on Elder Reed the same way that he had his hand on David. He knows that the same God who gave David victories will give him victories. And brothers and sisters, you don't know it now, but you will soon find out that you are very blessed to have this man as your new minister. You answered the call and obeyed God's command. He sent you here, we know you're in his hand. Your message from the word touches all the very soul. We've seen your faithfulness and we want you to know. Pastor, we love you. We appreciate all you do. And God sees the sacrifice you've made for Jesus. Christ, you pray for the lost, and God leads them to the cross. I love Pastor Reed and his family because when he came, I could feel the Spirit of, of the Lord with him. You have many char character traits that are beautiful. You're gentle, um, you're thorough, and I believe you have. Uh, caring spirit for people. He's been more than just a pastor. He's been an excellent friend. I'm glad I met him. I will always remember him. We love you. We're going to miss you so much. Hey, Pastor Reed, we love you. We miss you. God's blessing be with you. I love Pastor Reed and am very thankful for his ministry here at Stratford. He's a wonderful pastor. He's a very great teacher. Um, he taught me so much about the Bible and about the Lord. And he made it interesting and um, in a way that I'm able to understand it. I love you guys and I still will stay in church. The short time that I have been in your company, I have enjoyed both of you all immensely. He makes the Christian journey seem more possible. Um, he makes God practical, and um, he makes it plain on, as a believer, what God is requiring of us. I just want to thank you so much for being my spiritual leader and uh, my mentor. I can truly say that Stratford is the better place because you were here. I love Pastor Reed because he led us to Christ first, above all other things, programs and outreach. And that's the most important thing. Love you and enjoy your time here. I wish you and the family the best. We're going to miss you here, but I know that God puts you where you need to be. And other people need to be blessed by your ministry as we have. I remember when Ash and I decided we were going to start reading the Bible from the beginning. And you made time for all the questions that we had. If you didn't have the answer, you would get back with us and let us know, you know, exactly what that meant. I really did appreciate him when I was in the hospital and he always sung to me. I thank you for the opportunity to serve under you and may the Lord bless you as well as your family. Thank you so much for being uh, a mentor, just a friend. You were always there. Anytime I called, anytime I text. I just love you as a friend. You're more than a pastor to me. You're like a part of my family. When my mother was sick and she was a uh, going through her heart surgery. You came to the hospital four in the morning in a suit to pray with my mom before she went to heart surgery and stayed with me until they took her in. I will never forget that. You came to her bedside like two days before she passed away and sang to her. And that was the only thing that she smiled about for those last two days, the last moments of her life. And I really appreciate you for that. Well, you know how much I love you. Uh, we're going to miss you. 
Thank you, Pastor Reed, for all your years of service at Stratford. Love you. Mwah. I thank you for the training that you gave me as an elder and for allowing me to go out and minister to the sick with you. You don't know how much I appreciate you. Appreciate it, and I hate to see him go. I've had hard times in my family, and I've lost loved ones, and you've always been there. They still talk about you, and I think they, some of them might even become members because of you. All of his sermons give you something every week to think about that gets you through the week. We love you. Thank you for so much for all that you've done for us. But we are truly going to miss you. The few short years you've been with us has been absolutely wonderful. I can't even believe that it's coming to an end. But it's not coming to an end, not really. Because I know one day we're all going to be rejoicing around the throne where we'll never have to say goodbye. And one day we'll be able to just sprout our wings and just fly to each other's homes. So I'm looking forward to that day. Thank you, Pastor Reed, for all that you've done personally, uh, times we've spent together studying your word, fellowshipping with the elders, the great times we've had, including the rook time. We thank God for him. I remember when he first came here, he was a young, slim man, and he has put on a, well, a few little poundages, and that's okay. But that means we fed him well. I love the fact that he didn't take forever to get a, a, his point across when he was preaching. I remember the time when there was a mishap with the pastor's wife retainers and we stayed downstairs until we found at least one of the retainers. I never forget that moment. And you gave me this look and I guess you thought I was crazy <laughs> because in my mind I said I think I'm right. Well Pastor Reed it's come the time where I must say goodbye but like I tell you you'll search all over and you'll never find no one like me. Do you remember when you all came over my house a couple of weeks ago for dinner and Landon did not, um, you wanted him to eat his vegetables before he uh, could have dessert. Guess who went in there and ate his vegetables? It was me. I know you remember when I bust you at Dealer Saw that day. No, I ain't get to play you though, but I'm gonna miss you though. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. I want you to hear me now. Are you with me today? 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 Oh, you're not with me today. Are y'all with me today? Oh, you're not with me. Oh, you're not with me today. Oh, you're not with me today. I know it's warm in here today. Oh, you're not with me today. Oh, y'all not with me today. I'm trying to teach y'all the gospel today. All right? This is not one of those get up, thump your feet sermons. But this is a sermon that we need to learn about the grace of God. Understand that living life skillfully begins with first trusting God completely. He gives us gifts because he wants us to use them to lead others to Christ and glorify his name. Jesus ain't trying to make you rich. He's trying to save your body. We have grown so much because of you. I have learned just to be faithful, to be honest, to be true, and to love. Uh, Really walk this walk. I learned from Pastor Reed how to make spiritual decisions. Thank you for teaching me to think before I react because I always talk before I really think about what I'm going to say. So I appreciate that and I appreciate all you always being there to talk to me when I needed someone to talk to. Me.
I love Pastor Reed because he taught me so much. I always enjoyed every sermon that he preached. It always uh, had an effect on me. One is because you are a humble man, teaches us how to see God first in all that we do. Uh, we'd like to thank Pastor Reed on his uh, pastorship of this church for seven, eight years. Uh, we learned uh, so much from him. God always be with you. And I want to suggest to you today that. And I want to suggest to you that. And I want to suggest to you today. My I love the love that you display amongst your family. We truly going to miss you, but at least you're just around the corner. We love, may God's speed go with you and your family. I have truly been blessed by you and Val's ministry here at Staff Memorial Church. I am going to miss you and all the family. I love that daughter. She has always been dear to my heart as a teen. Um, and just a sweet, loving woman, and I just think you all are a wonderful couple. We're really going to miss you and your family. Take care of yourself, you and Sister Valerie. Love you both. To meet to the kids and Val, for sure. Val, and Lance, I love you all very much. I we're going to miss you. Valerie, I love you, and we'll stay in touch. gonna miss you but you're not gonna be far away we'll always be with you and he's been a good leader he's learned a lot and we will miss him a lot and pray that his new endeavor will be a blessing to him and his family I love Pastor Reed and the Lord will bless him wherever he go I love you I love you Lord today because you cared for me in such a special way that's why i praise you i lift you up and i magnify your name that's why my heart is filled with praise. I stand here today before you knowing full and well that I have not been sent here according to the will of man. I stand here today because God has sent me here. And because God has sent me here, I do not come in my own name. I do not come relying on my own power or my own strength. I come here today totally dependent and reliant upon the power of Jesus Christ. And so God has sent me here to preach the everlasting gospel. He sent me here to comfort the afflicted. But God has also sent me here as his pastor to disturb the comforted. While praying, the Lord gave me peace 
about my time here at Stratford. And he reminded me that Stratford is in his hands. And he told me that I've done, that I've done the work that he's called me to do. Amen.